Just want to show you how to make a rag wreath. Okay, you're going to need some strips of fabric. And the measurements that we use for the strips of fabric is about six inches long by one inch across. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's some fabric. And this is going to be about six inches long. This is the ruler. About six inches long and about one inch wide. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I take my ruler, I got a little piece of chalk, and I just kind of mark the fabric at one inch intervals. One inch. Okay. Alright, then I take my scissors and I just cut that at those one inch intervals. And that little bit of chalk will rub off as we're tying it on three. And this is a few layers of fabric that I folded together. These are one inch by six inches. Now some people do theirs a little bit wider. If you want to do yours a little bit wider, that's fine. I just do mine the six by one. Some already cut up over here, and I have more cut up. Just have a few right here. Now we're in Alabama, so roll tide. And we also you can't do one without the other. So my daughter and I made the one on there on the hanging up the auburn, orange and blue. All right, this is the reef. This wreath is about 14 inches in diameter. You can use whatever diameter you like. The bigger it is, the more fabric you're going to need. And so you take your piece of fabric. Now this is the way I do mine. I take the fabric and I just tie it one time. Just one time. And I'm gonna use the same fabric on each layer of the reef, the same fabric. So this is the houndstooth fabric. Just tie it one time. All right, that's your first layer. Then you're going to get your next color. This is how I do with two colors. I take, I alternate them. That way they'll be evenly spread around on the reef. So now I'm taking the crimson, crimson color. And as you do this, you have to keep pushing them closer and closer because that's what gives you the full look. Of course, it's not looking full right now, um, but as I continue to add these strips, it will get fuller and fuller, and you keep on doing it until you get it as full as you want it. I like mine very full, so I just keep doing it until they, until they're just really tight together. You just have to keep pushing them together like this. 
Can you see that? Can you see that? And see, you just keep on, keep on, keep on. I'm going to do one more layer. So I'm just going to keep on doing this until it's totally full the way I want it. And as you do it, you just keep pressing the little, pushing the little ends toward the front. You don't want them on the back, you want them on the front. And as you go, it's going to get fuller, believe me, it's going to get full. And then when you're almost done, you can add a bow if you like. Um, there are plenty of tutorials online to show you how to make a bow but you can add a bow and uh, when you're done it will look like this all right thanks for watching bye